The Marshall County town of Bremen turned out this morning for its favorite son as Dr. Bowen jumped into the gubernatorial race. Some adults and hundreds of school children gathered around Bowen's front porch for the announcement. It was Doc Bowen Day in Bremen, and the enthusiasm was there, even if the weather was terrible. A sporadic snowstorm and damp, chilly temperatures made Bowen's long-expected announcement a little uncomfortable. I'm confident that my 14 years of experience in the legislative branch of our state government have provided the best type of preparation possible for the office that I seek. The last eight of those years have been spent in leadership positions. Serving there helps one to understand the hard-won accomplishments, but it also dramatizes the magnitude of unmet needs and the multitude of unsolved problems. The veteran legislator is making a second try for the governor's chair. He lost the nomination in 1968 to Governor Edgar Whitcomb in a three-way race. Since then, the state GOP party has become split with Bowen and Whitcomb on opposite sides. In his front porch address, Bowen promised to unite the state and state Republican party through effective leadership. He also pledged to seek harmony between the governor's office and the legislature an indirect reference to the lack of communication between the General Assembly and Governor Whitcomb. Although the governor successfully thwarted Bowen's legislative program for tax reform in the last legislative session, Bowen soft-pedaled any direct attack on Whitcomb. I think that uh, we uh, can be proud of a great many things such as the economy in, in our state government, the road building programs and advances in uh, many other areas. Uh, I have uh, no uh, reason not to believe that uh, we can point to the positive things and also I will have some positive uh, programs to uh, run on. The hometown of Bremen did turn out today for Dr. Bowen, but to say the least, it was a miserable day to start a political campaign. However, with the state of the Republican Party in Indiana, one of confusion, Dr. Bowen may run into more political storms before the convention this summer. In his first campaign address, Dr. Bowen was low-key. He made no specific references to his disputes with Governor Whitcomb. However, before it's all over, that split will become apparent especially in the 1972 session of the General Assembly, where the battle over taxes could determine Dr. Bowen's political popularity. Jack Bowe, Channel 22 News in Bremen.